Okay, so we are here with lovely Jessica today. She is a busy mother of two, and uh, we are consolidating. We're going to do our second series of treatments for her background photo damage, uh, which is manifest by a lot of small little lentigos, um, you know, some pigmentation. She does have redness. Now, the Q-Switch Yag is not going to address this, and at some point we'll come back and maybe use the IPL for this. But today we are addressing um, this pigment, and she is probably a skin type somewhere between two and a half to three, because we know she's sensitive to the sun, and yet she can tan very easily. So I'm going to treat her as if she were a kind of a skin type three. Okay, so now we are going to establish the settings of this second treatment. And for this purpose, I would like to show you the presets that are available. And the really nice thing about all Luminous technology on this M22 is that there are presets for everything. So let's walk through it. And the way I think about these is that this is the pooled collective experience and wisdom of both clinical trials and a lot of experienced laser surgeons. So why not make use of that? So I'm going to press the application button, and that gives me two choices. Are, am I treating dark tattoos or am I treating pigmented lesions? I am treating pigmented lesions. Now I'm going to press, this little button has a stethoscope on it, it's for clinical applications, and I am going to call Jessica a skin type 3. You know, it could be arguable, is she a 2 or is she 3, but let's just see. And her subtype are these localized? Am I treating just a few lesions or am I treating extensive? These are extensive. They're pretty diffuse. Uh, lesion depth. I know from her exam that most of this pigment is junctional. And so we have three choices, epidermal, junctional, dermal. We're going with junctional. So our last choice is uh, the, the lesion intensity. And are these light or are these dark? Well, she's got background light skin, but actually the lentigities themselves are on the darker side. So we're going to choose dark. And what this preset tells me is that it wants a spot size of five millimeters, and then that will translate into the jewels. So I'm going to say, okay. And actually this is precisely what I treated Jessica with for her first treatment which is a five millimeter spot size, 2.25 joules per centimeter squared. Last thing I'm gonna choose is the repeat mode. Do I want a single pulse or do I want multiple per second? And I like five, uh, a, a hertz of five, five pulses per second. This allows the smooth painting motion and a, and a quick, uh, rapid treatment and then we are ready to go, okay? Okay, so we are ready for treatment. Everybody has protective eyewear on, and we are gonna start, as always, with, a, um, with just a little test strip. So, here we go. And you're gonna feel just a little snap and hear that loud sound, here we go. And how is that? Good. Okay. And I'm gonna check this just to make sure that I don't see any increase in redness, erythema. But the other point I wanna make out is Jessica does have some redness on her cheeks. So when I test for this, I'm gonna choose a site away from that just to make sure that I can see the true interaction of the laser with the skin. All right, we are ready to go. How are you doing? Good. You can hear the snapping interaction. And that's laser energy interacting with the melanin that's in that pigmented lesion. And unlike a stamping procedure, this procedure is you know, very quick and um, 
easy to perform because you can just basically glide and paint over the surface area you're targeting. Check again, that's fine. Okay, here we go. Still okay? Yeah. Okay. And I'm seeing that right over this left temple, there is a little bit of a pigmented patch right here, and you'll just hear that pop, pop, pop. Very good. And then turn your face just toward me, toward your, okay. See a bright light, and don't worry. I know it's you have shields on, you're adequately protected. Still doing okay? Yeah. And your nose. That's all those childhood uh, beach days <laughs> talking to us. And if I wanted to really focus on one particularly large region, I could go over it many times. I could uh, choose a different setting and just spot treat that one individually. And that's the nice thing about the Q-Switch Jag, you can change hand pieces and settings very quickly. So it doesn't delay the treatment, and you can sort of fine tune your treatment to address different types of lesions in the same treatment session. And we are done. Okay. Great. So we're going to put some cool uh, lotion on your face right now, and this is just to give it a little bit of um, decrease in temperature, and I will ask that you use a broad spectrum sunscreen mm -hmm. from here before you go out. Okay. The post care is very simple. You really don't have to do anything. This is a non-ablative um, procedure, so nothing has been disrupted you know, in your outer skin. This is all happening in the dermis. And you can feel good about that because that's going to rev up a little collagen activity too. So just be careful, nothing abrasive. Uh, don't use any retinols or retinoids just for a few days and okay. that's it. Great. And um, just be a good girl out there in the sun. Okay, I promise. Thank you. Thank you.